Hola, buenos dias. This is Sonia Mendoza of Mother Earth Foundation, Philippines. My presentation is on the road to zero waste. For Mother Earth Foundation and other environmental NGOs working on solid waste, zero waste solutions are the fastest and most economical in solving solid waste problems. The three pillars of zero waste, one, decentralized systems, two, fair livelihoods, and three, community leadership. Responsibility is under a decentralized system for the household, segregate, sell recyclables, compost organics. For the barangay or village, collect segregated waste, sell recyclables, and compost organics. For the city or municipality, collect residual and special wastes. The typical waste stream, organics for feedstock, for composting, recyclables, glass, plastic, paper, metal, residuals, plastic bags, packaging composites, including sachets, special, toxic and hazardous, sanitary and bulky waste. The waste profile for the Philippines, compostable 63%, recyclables 15%, and then residuals and special residuals 22% and hazardous 1%. The composables and recyclables can be addressed through composting and recycling and the rest can be addressed, can be addressed by redesign, research, and regulations. Comparing waste management and zero waste, for waste management, it is centralized, it's capital intensive, burns or landfills waste, and locks in waste generation. The contract says 25 to 30 years. For zero waste, it is decentralized, creates green jobs, identifies and reduces waste, and enables waste reduction policies. Comparing the cost for linear waste management is 10 to 50 US dollars per ton of waste collected. For ocean cleanup is 200 US dollars per ton of waste collected. And for zero waste cities, $2.50 per ton of waste collected. Zero waste programs transform communities. This is the scenario before of a main thoroughfare in Metro Manila before the trucks came to collect the garbage. During um, the zero waste program, this is the transformation. Now it has an herbal garden, it has a materials recovery facility or MRF, and it is an eco park. This was just put beside the sidewalk of the village. For a zero waste program, it should cover 100% of households for information, education, and communication campaign. And it should be complemented with a door-to-door -door segregated collection. The waste collectors are trained to do proper source segregation, and they are the teachers to the household in doing the proper source segregation. It's a house-to-house -house campaign. Residents are trained on livelihood programs using materials from waste, and this reduces the number of city trucks collecting waste from the barangay. From the village that we have I've just shown you, four trucks were needed every day to pick up the garbage, and now they only need one truck, which is only half filled. The city of San Fernando in Pampanga is a zero waste model city since 2012. It has a population of about 350,000, but daytime population is 1 million plus because it's the capital of the province. The law mandates one materials recovery facility or MRF per barangay, but for the 35 barangays, it has 103 MRFs. Villages and schools have established their MRFs. There is a plastic bag ban in the city in 2017, and it has a 96.5% compliance. The waste diversion rate in 2012 is 12%. After six months, it went up to 53%, and now it's 80.2%, the highest in the country. The expense before in solid waste management in 2012 was 70 million pesos or $1.4 million. In 2014, it's 15 million pesos or 300,000 US dollars. The city transfer station and the city central composting area. Materials recovery facilities in San Fernando City 
they are made of local materials and are low cost. The city of San Fernando was recognized for working towards a zero waste world at the International Zero Waste Cities Conference in 2019 in Penang, Malaysia. And also in the story of plastic included in the film's highlights are the programs and initiatives of the city in battling against plastic pollution. Another city in Metro Manila on the road to zero waste is Malabon City. Here is the photo of the materials recovery facility in one barangay. Another city is Navota City in Metro Manila. These two cities are adjacent to the Manila Bay. And with the zero waste program, it has decreased greatly the plastic pollution going into the ocean, into the bay. Scaling up to a province model, this is Siquijor province, an island province of six municipalities in central Philippines. They have a plastic ordinance covering the whole province. We have conducted seven waste assessment and brand audit in the municipalities. Examples of MRFs in rural areas, there is vermicomposting, composting, and residual waste containment area. Apo Island is in central Philippines. It is the first successful marine sanctuary, one of the best dive spots in the world. There is a zero waste project there with Mother Earth Foundation. The partner and project lead is the War on Waste Negros Oriental, or WOW. It's the first zero waste island barangay. Isla Verde in Batangas, this is in southern Luzon. Isla Verde is part of the Coral Triangle, the center of the center of the Earth's marine biodiversity. There are six barangays here and they are doing zero waste. They have already have an organic garden as an offshoot of this composting. Then Greenpeace Philippines, they have now the it means the tingi culture. It means to bring your containers and you just buy what you need without plastic packaging. When the Philippines conceptualized who has a tingi to reclaim our tingi culture or you just get what you need. It's about reimagining small volume retail into a zero waste model. They have integrated refilling stations in community or sari-sari stores. For the Eco Waste Coalition, also in the Philippines, they have zero waste programs. Here are products from waste materials. They have also composting in their projects, and there is training on zero waste. For the Healthcare Without Harm, Southeast Asia, with an office in the Philippines, they have a St. Paul Hospital's ozonator that sterilizes waste before disposal without using toxic chemicals or burning. This is a zero waste hospital, reusable personal protective equipment made by St. Saint Paul staff, complete with suit, face masks, and head cover, but these are reusables. They are not disposable. And in the West Java Mental Hospital, the staff, the patients who are already in stable condition, cultivated the land into an organic vegetable farm. And here you can see the harvest from the farm. The Zero Waste Academy. It is an immersive course aimed at capacitating project implementers and key stakeholders on how to implement a zero waste program in their respective cities and communities. The last Zero Waste Academy before the pandemic was held in Quezon City in Metro Manila. Participants were from Tanzania, Taiwan, India, Indonesia, Tunisia, USA, Vietnam, Ghana, South Africa, Albania, Morocco, and the Philippines. And now Indonesia and Tanzania are doing their zero waste programs in their respective countries. One a Zero Express Store, or JZE, are local community or sari sari stores that are transitioning to become zero waste. It, the transition is gradual in nature, slowly easing away from reliance of, of product items on plastic packaging. Here in Navota City is already partnered with a sari sari store. Let's leave our children a living planet. Muchas gracias.